Hello, I'm Rabbi Elton from the Great Synagogue in Sydney, and our personality today is Baruch Spinoza, born in 1632 and dies in 1677. Spinoza is the greatest heretic in all of Jewish history, a man of extraordinarily independent and original ideas, who although he was exiled from his own community and died relatively young, has had a massive effect on general philosophy ever since he was working and writing and teaching. He was born into the Spanish-Portuguese community of Amsterdam in the first half of the 17th century. His son had been exiled to Holland from Spain and then Portugal. And he was raised in the Amsterdam Snocha, the synagogue community in Amsterdam, a very important centre and a very wealthy and influential centre of Sephardic Jewry. He was sent to the Talmud Torah, he was sent to the religious school in Amsterdam, but he left around the age of 17 and joined his father's business, although his father later died relatively young, leaving him in some financial difficulties. Amazingly, even in his early 20s, he was already propounding very radical religious views. He declared he did not believe that Moses was the author of the Pentateuch, of what we call the five books of Moses, the Chumash. Uh, and in this way, he is the originator of the whole field of biblical criticism, the idea that the Torah text is a composite of many documents edited and written and compiled over many years. So in that way, he still has a very important influence in biblical studies in every university in the world, even today. He then became more radical in his views, not only on the Bible and its contents, but also on religion. He did not believe in a personal God. In fact, he essentially thought that God was equivalent to nature. Now, whether this is a pantheism or a panentheism or even an atheism is still a matter of scholarly contention. But essentially, he said that God was not personal. God was not providential. God was not interested in the world. God did not judge or know. God was not acting through his own motivations and intelligence. God was essentially the same as the rules of the universe, the laws of nature. He is therefore the originator of what we now would call atheism, secularism, the dominant theory in many parts of the Western world. As a result of these uh, views on religion, on God, on the Bible, he was excommunicated by the Jewish community and he spent the rest of his life as a private scholar. He wrote on political theory, he wrote on ethics, and he earned his living as a lens grinder. Eventually that was what caused his death. He died from complications arising from inhaling the small particles, the dust of glass of the lenses he was grinding. He's known as Benedict Spinoza in the wider scholarly community, but his self-identity in his early years was as Baruch. Baruch was the name of his origins and his community, and even though he was expelled, he is still an extraordinary Jewish figure to arrive on the world scene, even though he rejected many of the principles and the beliefs of his originating community. Thanks for joining.